but we're gonna show you everything that's going on upstairs in our production room and the very capable team that is running things for us this morning. So production room, do you have me upstairs? Hey, Andrew, how's it going? There we go. And I'm going. I'm doing good. Good. Andrew is our production coordinator. He was recently <laughs> hired onto the staff a couple of weeks ago, and seriously, we wouldn't be able to do these services without him. So, Andrew, thanks for you and your team running things upstairs. Why don't uh, show us a little bit of what's going on upstairs? Yeah. So this is our master control room. This is where Ooh. all of our broadcasting happens from. You can see we have our very small team in here. We've got Megan and Ben. Hey you guys. guys. Can say hi. Ben's a little busy mixing our sound. That's okay, no worries. And lots of screens. How many monitors are in this room? So we have a total of 10 monitors, not including phones and tablets. Wow, that's a lot. And uh, they all do different things. We're not going to get into too much technical detail because that's going to be pretty boring for the people at home. But tell us a little bit about uh, what each of these screens kind of do. Start with like maybe like the monitor wall at the back. So this is our monitor wall. So this is how we see every video source um, before it goes live and lets us control everything so that we can show you guys what's going on in the building here. Nice, I see myself there. I can wave to myself, that's kind of cool. Yeah, we've got a little bit of an inception thing going here with a <laughs> screen within a screen within a screen. I love that, that's fantastic. All right, uh, and then we have these workstations. Now, not all of these are filled. They're all just doing jobs kind of on their own. We have to run around with the people because again, we can't have too many people in the building and we want to as best as we can keep them socially distanced from each other. So the workstations are all six feet apart from each other. But walk us through quickly, Andrew, like what each of these workstations are doing. Yeah, so we'll start at the far left here where Megan is sitting. Yep. Uh, this is our graphics computer. So this controls all the lyrics that you see on your screen and any other things like the confinement challenge and videos that we play throughout the service. Nice. And then beside that, this is our calling computer. Okay. So we're actually connected through this computer right now. That's how we're showing up on the live stream. Nice. Um, but this is how we bring in all of our guests during the pre-service. Right, so for example, we're actually a little bit later on in our service, we're gonna bring Pastor Dwayne in from his home for a worship element. And that's the computer we're gonna be using to do that little tease, right? Exactly. Great, what about um, on that wall there? Yeah, so on the wall here, this is our uh, monitor for the live chat. Right. Um, so normally we would have our, our regular website, but we've had that problem this morning. So we're watching on YouTube cool. uh, and we can see our chat going right here. You guys can see yourself on the live stream. Fantastic, love it. <laughs> um, but that's how we just keep tabs on how many people are watching nice. and we can answer any of your questions or prayers. Great, what's on, uh, what's on the back row? Yeah, so this is our sound row here. This is where Ben mixes. And now I should mention, we actually have two audio guys mixing, um, but we'll come to our second audio guy in a moment here. Um, but these two computers are everything audio. So all of the music that you're hearing right now um, is coming out of these computers, as well as some of our remote links to our other audio guy. That's fantastic. Um, and then back here, this is our live stream computer. It's what actually is putting us on YouTube right now. It's just showing the screensaver, but it is what is broadcasting us live at the moment. Nice. And Ben, show me that you're actually doing something right there. Turn the music up and down for us or something. There you go. Music's getting louder and music is getting softer. Yeah, he's like a DJ back here. This is awesome. That's great. Oh, something's, something's, something's going on. <laughs> the fader is moving on its own. It has a mind of its own. I'm just oh, kidding. No. <laughs> it doesn't actually have a mind of its own. Andrew, what's happening right there? So we have a uh, another audio guy, Mr. Richard Cleaver, okay. who is also mixing our sound remotely. That's um, amazing. And we've actually got him connected. So in just a minute, I'm going to throw it back to Joel. Um, but then we are going to put Richard on and he's going to show you around his studio as well. That's great. I love it. So Richard is basically video calling into the room upstairs. But Richard is very much part of our team, even though he can't be here. Hey, Richard, how's it going? It's going well. Good. Show me your setup. What are you doing uh, from your coach right now? Sure. So uh, I'll show a little little peek here of what, uh, what I've got in front of me. Uh, so I have uh, I have this console and I use this console. So, for example, for our Easter service, I did all of the recording work uh, uh, using this 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 board. Uh, and then uh, I connect into the church. And I don't know if you can make out my screens here, but this is how I, I can control the audio console from about 10 kilometers away. Uh, and uh, and I can also keep tabs of what the team is doing. Keep an eye on them. Keep <laughs> them in line. telling me that I have a nice shirt. I don't know if you can see that text message. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so obviously the live stream is very much live. That's right. Um, that's fantastic. Yeah, so that's uh, that's part of what I do here is I, I try to help Ben as, as he's going through the uh, service physically in the building. 
uh, and then uh, I use these resources here to help uh, help the team out with pre-production work as well as the uh, live work that we do. Well, thank you so much, Richard, for doing that. And just quickly before you go, you guys have a little bit of a crazy story in the midst of coronavirus going on and stuff about how you were in Florida and coming back to Canada. Just give people a little picture about what that journey was like uh, for the Cleavers coming back to Canada. Sure. You know, Lorraine and I are, are home free, uh, so we're retired and we live full time in our motor coach. And ordinarily, that's a, a really cool thing. But when we come back to Canada uh, in the middle of a pandemic, it gets a little complicated. So there we were in the middle of March and Trudeau had gone forward and told Canadians that were abroad that it's time for you to come home. Except for us, we didn't have a home to come back to. And we were uh, we were really going through a lot of uh, uh, stress and uncertainty and, and, and fear. Uh, and Joel, you had sent me a text message right in the middle of that and just said, hey, you know, we're thinking about you guys and wondering what your plans are to come back to Canada, if there's anything as a church that we can do to help you. And, you know, when Todd says that uh, you, know, you are loved, that, that's the practice of, of the church. Um, it took such a weight off our shoulders when, uh, when I received that message and told, uh, told Joe what our plans were and, uh, and everything was looked after for us. You know, the coming back into quarantine for 14 days, a place to park our coach while we were waiting to see where we might be living for the next uh, six months or so. All of that God provision, but we received such wonderful help from uh, from the church and from all of the uh, community that, that we're friends with there. So it's been a real blessing to us and, and really made a big difference in our lives. That's amazing, Richard. Well, thank you for all of the work that you are doing remotely. You've been a huge help to us. We wouldn't be able to pull off these live stream services without you. So we really appreciate you guys as well. And it's just cool to see, like you said, the body of Christ at work, helping people out where help is needed. Amen? Yeah, amen. Awesome, Thanks, that's great. Thanks for what you're doing there. All right. So there you have it. That's the studio. You guys have a little bit of a peek behind the scenes to see what it is that we are doing here at Harvest every single weekend.